Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Assuming you have all of the relevant information about a loan, you can enter the loan into the Loan Manager to set up a payment schedule. Using the Loan Manager lets you manage all the loans you need to pay from a single screen. To add a loan to the Loan Manager, select Banking, Loan Manager from the menu bar to launch the Loan Manager window. Click the Add a Loan button to open the Add a Loan window and select the name of the liability account you want to add from the Account Name drop-down. The balance of the account will appear as the current balance. Use the Lender drop-down to select the name of the bank who lent you the money. Enter the origination date of the loan, which is the date used to calculate the loan maturity date and the number of remaining payments. Enter the original amount of the loan into the Original Amount field. In the term section, enter the terms of the loan by typing a number and selecting the time increments from the adjacent drop-down menu. Then click the Next button to continue. On the next screen, enter the due date of the next payment within the field provided. In the Payment Amount field, enter the total amount of the loan payment. Enter the next payment number if desired. From the Payment Period drop-down, select the type of payments you make. If the loan has an escrow payment, select the Yes option button for that question and then enter the escrow amount and the asset account used to track escrow payments. You can also leave a check in the Alert Me 10 Days Before a Payment is Due checkbox to have that feature applied. Then click the Next button to continue. On the next screen, enter the interest rate as a percentage into the interest rate text box. From the compounding period drop-down, select the type of compounding used for the loan, monthly or exact days. If you select exact days, then select whether the lender is using a 360 or 365 day year for their calculations from the compute period drop-down. Select the bank account from which you make the payments from the payment account drop-down. Use the Interest Expense Account drop-down to select the expense account you use to track loan interest payments. Use the Fees Charges Expense Account drop-down to select the expense account used to record the amounts assessed for late payments and other penalties. When finished, click the Finish button. The loan will be added into the loan list in the Loan Manager window. You can click it to select it, and then click the three tabs below it to view the summary of the loan, the payment schedule, or the contact info for the lender. To set up a payment for a loan listed in the loan list, select the loan in the list, and then click the Set Up Payment button to launch the Set Up Payment dialog box. Use the This Payment Is drop-down to select either a regular payment or an extra payment. Double-check the payment information to ensure the amounts listed are correct. Use the drop-down in the Payment Method section to select the method of payment to use. Click the OK button to view the loan payment as either a check to pay now or a bill you can pay later depending on the choice made from the drop-down in the Payment Method section. To edit a loan, select the loan name in the loan list of the Loan Manager window and then click the Edit Loan Details button to launch the same wizard you used to create the loan. Change any loan information within the wizard as needed. To delete a loan from the Loan Manager, select the name of the loan in the Loan List and then click the Remove Loan button. Then click the Yes button in the Confirmation dialog box to remove the selected loan. In the Loan Manager window, you can also click the What If Scenarios button to launch the What If Scenarios dialog box. Use the drop-down at the top of the dialog box to answer hypothetical questions about your loan, such as What if I change my interest rate? You can select a question you want to investigate further, and then enter any requested information in the area below. This can be a useful tool for comparing loans to ensure you aren't paying too much for the money you have borrowed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.